Alright, so this video is going to be unusual because it's not going to be a tutorial video. It's going to be more of a what's ahead in development for ShareX and at least what I've seen so far from their team uh, in regards to the last four months. So, in my opinion, most of the last four months, a lot of it's been image effects oriented and a few other things. So let's get the few other things out of the way first. So. If you're having any kind of setting errors where you're losing your settings, they're white being wiped while on like hard power reset, stuff like that, where you're just losing hotkey settings, blah, blah, blah. Then go ahead right now and just click on application settings, click check for pre-release updates and install a dev build because that's gonna solve your issue pretty much right away because JX and the team have been working around the clock to fix that issue because that's been an ongoing issue for a while and I'm pretty sure they finally actually fixed that issue. So if you do have settings are being reset, uh, and so forth go ahead and just install a dev build and it should take care of that now another thing you'll notice is if you install a dev build is because usually sharex uh, and the team it's usually every six to twelve months to release a new build i'd say the last build was on march 1st i want to say yeah march 1st and then before that about six seven months so we're about four months in into their development and what have they done well they've done quite a bit so if you go to task settings, effects, image effects, configurations, you'll notice something right away that's completely different. The entire UI looks completely different. And in my opinion, it looks a lot nicer and a lot smoother, a lot cleaner. Before you had a lot of buttons up here, like six, seven buttons. It was kind of overwhelming to an end user. But now you have your three simple buttons, export, import, packager, which now this is a brand new feature. I'll get into this in a little bit. This makes it so you can seamlessly share your uh, ShareX image effects with other people. I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, so you know you have your presets here, uh, you know, like just how it was before, but it's all kind of compact. So you can make a new preset, and then you name that preset. So let's you know think of a name. We want to name this. Uh, we're testing, testing preset. Let's just do testing. But I have a feeling I have one called testing already. But we'll do testing anyways. Yeah, I do have one that's testing already. Testing 01. <laughs> All right. Um, and let's see. So text, this is new. This came out about two days ago in the dev build. Um, it's wild. You can, so I've already taken the time to spend forever to try to figure it out before I recorded this video. Um, and you can use different levels of gradient like here I tried to mirror the Sharex logo by having all the different radiants or gradients of color and then I did it vertical instead of horizontal see so it'll change every time or backwards so let's just stick with vertical and yeah so there's a lot of stuff um, that's been added RGB splits also new that you know does what it does it splits the image um, makes it kind of look like you're in hacker man world <laughs> um, I don't know if reflections new but I thought it was pretty cool so there it is uh, I know let's go to one of the pre-made ones that's already done and by the way so if you ever do want a pre-made uh, preset ones like this for example these are available in Sharex's discord so all you have to do is go to get and then click on their discord link and then join the discord server and then simply just go to the image effects channel with a little Bob Ross icon I mean it's not a Bob Ross icon it's a, it's a painting icon but it just reminds me of Bob Ross because you know why not um, and a lot of these will be in there to preset and then simply all you need is that dev build to be installed and then you just double click once you save that file and it'll open up it'll look like one of these files down here so for example that I'm talking about the scuzz I call them scuzzy I'm not really sure where you're supposed to, I don't know how to pronounce it it's basically an SXIE file a sharex image effect file and this is relatively new as well in the last couple months they created so a seamless way to share your share your sharex image effects so for example let's say I delete the Super Mario Bros 3 where all the assets are being held inside and I want to re so say I just downloaded and save to my computer somewhere this Super Mario Bros. 3 one. All I gotta do is double click it. And then it's gonna unzip it, create that asset folder, and boom, they're all right there. And what do you know, it's right here again. So I have two of them now. 
So what the packager does, and what I can do with testing 01 is, you know, we have text. Let's say we want to add an image, right? Um, and we want that image to carry over to another user's computer. So let's just say, okay, let me go back in here and let me just copy hero. So hero. Now this is an important part. In order for this packager to work, you have to create the. You have to manually create the asset folder. So testing 01. So we've manually created the, the, the testing folder within our image effects, which is a brand new, this is new within ShareX. So image effects, and we have testing 01. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste my hero in there, and then I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna make my hero, I'm gonna go to testing 01. I'm gonna create it, and it's, you know, it's, let's just say zero, zero. Okay, there we go, looks a little better. And um, a nerd. Okay, great. Um, and then why not? Let's just add some RGB split. Why not? Uh, and then let's go ahead and add an outline. And we want the color to be. Who knows what this is gonna look like? <laughs> I don't even know what it's gonna look like. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, all right, so now we want to package this, right? Okay, so we click on Packager. And the good thing about Jax and the team is what they've done is they've pre-allocated where it they think, they assume the file will be, the folder that is. The thing is, you still have to manually create that folder. It's not going to create that folder for you. Last time I checked, you had to create it yourself. So this is where all your images and assets are. And this is the outcome that's going to create that SCSI file where you're going to be able to seamlessly like share with your friends and double click. So you just click package and testing 01 or testing 01. There it is. It's right there. So now if we did this right, we should be able to let's remove this preset. Let's actually just remove the preset altogether. Okay. So we have testing 01. Let's just delete it. So now when we open up this testing, it should pop propagate and it did and it should reopen up a new folder and it did and there it is we have our image it's still intact simply this is just unzipping and zipping um, to the the right folder location or right directory I should say so and there it is that's what Packager is um, and like I said you can go ahead and get on the discord and you can get all these other ones like ShareX 98 which is basically like Windows 98 uh, you can get Share Exporter, you can get Vista, you can get XP. Uh, my favorite one, honestly, right now, it's got to be Activate Windows. <laughs> I just find it so funny. So, whichever one you want to keep it on, you just close out of. Um, and then, so let's just say I take a picture of this. And there you go. So now it looks like I have a bootleg Windows version, but I don't. But, you know, I find it hilarious. Um, another good way to know what's going on with ShareX is their, um, what is it, commits? I think that's how you pronounce it, commits? Yeah, you're committing. Yeah, commits. Uh, I always want to say comments, but I'm pretty sure it's commits. Uh, so they've added the DPI fixes, MCOR has, um, the settings. They've also encrypted all of the settings too. They've added that as well. I remember reading that through this. So if you're ever curious what's been going on during these four months of development, like you can go ahead and just go to their commit section on their GitHub uh, and look because Jax or MCOR or Charlie or someone's always doing something. Um, and this is the best way to find out what's new this is kind of how I kind of find out what's new. I also will just kind of sit in Discord and listen to what the guys are talking about uh, because Jax and the crew are pretty adamant about expressing what, what they've just released and what's new to what, and what they've pushed. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming out. And that is that. And I think that really is that. Um, what else is new that's really big? 
I think this is new in terms of it's a dev build only, which I think is fucking awesome, and I can't wait for it to go live, is you can override your screenshot folder and um, create your own path for like, so for my offline capturing, I have a folder specifically just for offline. And I also have one for offline recordings as well. Uh, and I don't think that's in a live build. I think that's in the dev build. So that's really cool that you can add the, the hotkey to override. I know he also did add a hotkey for QR code decode from screen instead of just QR code. Uh, that literally is, was done three or four days ago that people were requesting. So that's also brand new that's in the dev build. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. I know... Um, interpolation is new as well and I don't know a lot about it but I know interpolation mode like you can go through these you can do nearest neighbor and I know from looking at other presets that have been done by Duck and JX for example the Steam one like for these ones he would do nearest neighbor um, so you just to connect them but yeah, the biggest thing is the packager, which is pretty fucking sweet. Um, just make sure you preset that folder because it's not going to create it for you. Put all your assets in there. And then you just, you know, share it with whoever you want. Anyways, thanks for listening. I know it's been a journey of 11 minutes, which is long as hell. But yeah, I think that's about it.